Well, good morning. Welcome to another blustery condition of Cod Bites Fishing Adventures. It's about 11 o'clock. I'm on Sandlemere Beach in Tunstall. Um, it's blowing an absolute bloody hole. It's 40 plus mile an hour gales. I've got uh, swells coming in at good 10 to 12 feet. Um, I'm holding out at the moment with a six ounce. There's no weed. The bloody wind's horrendous. Back wind, of course. But uh, you've got to be in it to win it. It's the 23rd of December. Uh, look at the swells. Look at them big fellas. If I put you down low, you might be able to get a better example of the sea conditions. Look at that. Three hours to go to Top Tad, and look at this. That's how close we are to the cliff. Definitely going to get washed off, so I've got to find a way off of you. Danny's just cast out, but I don't think he's cast it out very well because I think he's going up over me in a minute. Because <laughs> uh, he knocks it too straight. But um, he's over there anyway, casting. What a massive swells. There's one other guy on the beach over there. Don't know what the sound's like, fellas, because. Uh, as I say, there's not a lot I can do, it's bloody windy, but I mean, you've got to do everything to get the video out, haven't you? All the best of Christmas, by the way, for everybody. Uh, just, uh, is it one more sleep? No, two more sleeps, isn't it? Two more sleeps to Christmas. Um, hope everybody has a good time. But uh, let's just hope we get some fish, I mean, some bloody big pulls. Some bloody big pulls, look at the rod go, what? But um, you need to pass right over there like that. You need to pass on the angle for about ten o'clock. But uh, look at the pull down on that. I mean, you know what you can do with uh, four and five uh, four and five breakers coming in at seven, eight, ten feet. I mean, some of them are bloody twelve foot. They're higher than me anyway, well higher than me, I'm higher up on the beach. But uh look at this one. The rogue wave, look at that. I mean, let's be honest, these are the conditions I love you, as you know, I love love big seas like this, look at that. I just love big seas like that, and uh, you know, you've always got a chance of a the walk over the top when it's put in conditions like this. I mean this is a good cod sea. Yeah. I mean it's not like white water so it's definitely cod. But, uh, I doubt you'll get any bats in this, but um, definitely cod. This is only about. But you've got to be in it to win it handy, I'm on straight back at the moment. I'm still fishing on a, a long pattern and Oscar. Two up, two or two Sakoma super sharps. Let's see if they work. If not, I'm moving to panel. Dan is on a pattern Oscar. It's here, straight back up. You know, one up the land, one on the up on each. So there's plenty of black lug out there. Let's just see we can do the business. Don't want to see any seals. So, uh, I'm definitely going to be fishing off the cliff in the next hour, definitely, because this is coming in at some rapid pace. You think this wind had hold it up, but it's not. But, uh, what can you do? I mean, uh, you've got a minute, haven't you? I braved it. I mean, it's a lovely day, don't get me wrong, it's 12 degrees. That's 54 Fahrenheit in layman's terms. Um, you know, perfect conditions in theory. If you look the wind on here, if the wind weren't here and you walked into sea like that, you'd, you'd be licking your lips, wouldn't you? But let's just see. I dare put some rods out at the moment because. You know what? It's not, is it? Let's just do up a. Uh, put you up into the big and plus cast, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? So I'll leave you on the sea for a little bit. I can't get you on the rods really, well I can, but you'll be looking up in the bloody air. I don't know if you can see the rods from there, but we'll have a go. Let's have a look. Actually you can, I'll leave you there for now, but I'll move you if need be. But you're gonna get a bit of wind, there's no I can do about it. I've got the wind protector on the mic, you know, so it's gonna cut a lot of it out, but uh 
there's not a lot I can do until I get further, further back towards the cliff and I can mask the camera. Oh, we'll just see how it goes. You know, I'm actually fucking full of The line's a bit slack, but you can understand it, it's braided and I'm going to get a bit of a boat in it. You know, unless there's a big fish on there, you're not going to see much of a bite. To be fair, it has calmed off a little bit, I mean, uh, in the last 10 minutes or so. I mean, if you look at the breakers now, they are actually calming down a little bit. I'm hoping the narrow, narrow, you know what? Yeah, it looks like it's leveling off a bit. It's a really deep, bloody beach for a place. I mean, I don't know if you can see the gradient there, but I'm about six foot above the water. Easy look. It's totally changed here with the old sand of the beach. Completely. Some are good to watch, though, isn't it? I mean, at the end of the day, um, I might be looking at a a huge 20 pound cod, you don't know, do you? If I've been a good lad and Father Christmas thinks I've been a good lad, you might just throw a big in my way. I say it's, it's cut down, guys, look at this coming in now. Look at them. I've got a feeling I'm going to get swamped in a minute by a big in. I'm leaving you on the seas for a bit because it's just so good, the size of them. You know, the best we could hope to do is just keep checking the, uh, the line every 20 minutes or so. You know, bringing it in because look at them coming in over there. Nice one, nice one. I better move, we better start moving this gear back, that's going to get us that. That one might get us anyway. Look at this. Some huge, huge lift, huge. Come on, help us get this back, Daddy, because that's just swamped us, lads. Look, swamped us. I don't want to get stuck on here. I don't want to get stuck on this beach, fellas, because at the end of the day, my get down's over there. I don't want to get stuck in this cove. Take a little break for now while I sort this camp out, and uh, when I come back, we'll be in a better spot. And hopefully, no wind because I'm behind the cliffs now. Come back, let me just sort this bloody out. It's blown off my head 60 times. Right, you know, yeah. I've got to get the old Sakuma logo in the middle, you know, just to give him a bit back. Like, um, at the end of the day, we've just uh, we're holding out a bit now. I mean, we're, we're casting about 10 o'clock to the left, but walking quite a bit way, way to the left up the beach, you know, to straighten it up. Um, I've just loaded my bloody bow hooks with two black lug, big massive ones up the line. I'm going to hope I'm going to get a big cod or something. Um, Danny's out straight. Look at that, look, dead bloody straight. Give him a wave, Danny. Hey! You know, have what you had to eat today? No. Oh, well, that's no good then, is it? You'll be disappointing a lot of fans now. We've got some pack up with us, haven't we? Oh, yeah, he's brought some pack up with him. That might get him going. Some blackjack. Chicken tikka meatballs. <laughs> Licorice, something like that. That'll do the job. Right, I'm going to get you on them rods for a little bit because we're beyond the cliff now and it should. See where the rod is? It should be, uh, should be well viewable now. <coughs> so I'm right on the cliff, it's here, look. I'm stuck on the back of the cliff now and the tide's still got two hours to come in. So if I get stuck here, I get washed off. So it'll be the last, it'll be the last cod bites video because I'll be uh, somewhere near them wind farms out there. <laughs> 
Now, I've just, we've uh, found a little spot up the cliff where we'll put a few footholds in it and hopefully I'll be able to climb it. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't be climbing cliffs really, but uh, I'm going to have to. But uh, I'm going to have to, obviously, because I can't get off the beach now anyway. Because there's my getaway just there and I'm not moving now. So I'm going to take the chance. I'm going to take the chance I can get up these cliffs. If push comes to shove, believe me, I'll get up them. <laughs> but uh, it's all good. I mean, it's, it looks like the sea's levelling out a little bit now. And uh, so I can't feel the wind now because I've got the cliffs to be back and uh, I can't feel anything. It's just like, there's no wind, isn't there? So it just shows you've done it. If I could fish like this all day where I am now, it'd be great, but obviously I'm going to get washed off. It's amazing what bloody damage has been done though. I mean, these beaches changed so much. I mean, it's real deep now, but it has changed a lot. There's a hell of a lot of sand come on here. Where it's come from, I don't know. Whether it's come from Spain or whatever, I don't know, but there's a hell of a lot of sand. It's unlikely you're going to be able to see a bite because the bloody size of these waves coming in are just humongous look. Bearing in mind we're six to seven feet higher than the surf line up here. And you, so you can imagine how big them waves are if I stood next to them. Right? Where they're coming in, the wave wouldn't make. But it is my favourite sea, I love this type of sea. Oh, is that a bite? I swear I saw a bite then. I think I've got a bite there, fellas. I'm, I'm not 100% certain because of the, the breakers and stuff coming in, but that certainly looked like a big sharpish pole in the go. I think our kid's just turned up, has he? He'll probably fish off the cliff. It's hardly worth coming down on the beach now. Well, you're only losing 10 yards, and at the end of the day, you've got a back wind, you're gaining more than that anyway. Yeah, that's it. Was that lab that's been living in? <laughs> oh, that's a big one. We're nearly, uh, we're nearly washed off, aren't we? About seven metres from the uh, cliff now, fellas. And I've got my back against them. There's no way off now. My get up's gone. So, I'm going to have to climb up shortly. I'll have to climb up, we'll have to pass with the gear up, won't you? Might have to be the other way around, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I might not be able to get up if I go up last, so it's a bit daft, isn't it? <laughs> you what? Especially cliff dandy, because you might be better off just fishing up there. I reckon another 10 15 minutes will be off. <coughs> well, 
I started down a bit though. I climbed on the cliff. You can get down here because there's boxes here. I'll be back in a minute, guys, when Andy's got on the beach. Right, put you back on, fellas. I've got some really big pull downs on this rod, but I don't know whether it's a bite or it's just the, uh, the rollers coming in, but it looks so much like a bite. I'm going to have to have a look. Of them. Let's get them up. That's not big old dear.
zeggen. Hé, hey, wat? Ja, niks, hè? Oh, dat was Alright, we're back fellas, uh, got tangled up with Danny, he didn't look like I had, but uh, I had, I was straight out and he was right across me, so he cast out last from me, so I obviously pulled him in, he's underneath me, but uh, I thought he had a bite, he was obviously, obviously pulling his weight in, or pulling his weight, but what can you do? Um, it's all good fun anyway, it's only just here a video up for Christmas. You know, it's bloody hard work, I'll tell you. Because uh, these waves are massive. That might get you, hurry up. Oh, you only got trainers on? You're insane. <clears throat> what happened to the boots you had? We had some different shoes on than that last time. Good job it's dry today. Sand's dry as well, luckily. But um I'm enjoying it at the end of the day. Our kids just turned up with another packs of uh, another five packs of fresh logs, so you know I'm gonna fish it off the cliff in a minute anyway because it's virtually uh I don't think it's worth casting back out again here because look, we're here and it's not worth it I don't think. Because uh by the time I've cast out I'll be pulling it back in to get up on the cliff, so... <clears throat> I mean, it was only ever intended to be a short session, I wasn't going to stay here all day. We're just fishing while after three, you know. I mean, it is Christmas after all, and I didn't want to do a long video, because, you know, there's still a lot to do, and I don't want to leave it all around last, so... And then Danny's got to get back to sort all his out and that, so... You know, we only came out for four hours or so, just to get a video. Um, I mean, I'm glad they have in a sense because it's nice. You know, it's nice to fish in these types of conditions. But you never know; we might just strike into a few. Um, I don't know why. I just don't. I'm not. I, when I first got here, I thought I might get a big cod, but I'm not so confident now. Because um, the guy next to me hadn't even had a bite either. That. You what? Might fish better when it comes in, but well, yeah, but you can't have your rod's eye on your stand. You're gonna have to lay it on the floor with, on your stand because um, it'll blow off the cliff. But yeah, I might bring mine up there now anyway, because at the end of the day... At the end of the day, fellas, uh, these, these waves are nearly at us. Look how close we are to the cliff now. Um, by the time I've cast out and uh, it's pointless, so I might as well get my stuff up on the top of the cliff and start feeling a bit of that wind. So I'll be back in a minute when I, when I get the uh, camp reset on the cliff and I can get up there. Catch you in a bit. We're back, fellas. I've got up the cliff. I'm absolutely cream crackered or knackered if you want to put it in uh, English terms. Uh, it's bloody blood a gale up here, man. Oh, right, exposed now. Uh, Danny's just sorting his out. That's where we are now, that's where the, the tide is, so, you know. We're in the right place. Um, you know, it's never going to be a long session, fellas. We're only coming out for four hours, as I said. Um, you know, I've got a lot of things to do yet for Christmas. Today was just an extra one for you. In between Christmas and the New Year. Um, oh, obviously I was hoping to get a few fish like, but I don't think conditions are going to allow it. Uh, it's not holding very well either. I mean, it does for a while and then it's there. Uh, once it gives, it's gone. Um, but I managed to get up them cliffs. I mean, the cliffs are only five feet now, five and a half feet. 
may not sound a lot lots of new too late, mate, but when you got a really bad back, that, that feels like 50 feet. So I've got to be careful I don't put no pressure on it whatsoever, like jumping or anything. Else. So I'm gonna end up breaking me back again, which I don't want to do in that. So but I'm enjoying it, I say I'm out, you know it's not cold, it's just bloody very windy. Look at them massive rollers coming in now mate. That is it's just a sight to behold, isn't it? Look at that. That is beautiful. That. Look at the size of it. Good 10 to 12 feet now. I mean I'm five feet up the cliff and I'm obviously sat on a box. That's another three or four feet, that's nine feet and we're above my head. So Bloody big then. Oh yeah, that black tar. Oh. I could expect it to uh, be a bit bigger at once, so the winds are expected to get up, I think. But well, I'm enjoying it. The car's only there, look. There's the car park. You can see it there. It's only got there to walk. And we're fishing here, so it just shows you it's not, it's not that hard to fish, fellas. You know, if, if you're struggling walking and stuff or getting down cliffs. I mean, there is a get down there. Where my brother is over there, you just see him in the distance with his uh, fluorescent jacket on. There's a little get down just in that cove there where you can just walk down without climbing. And it's only about five or six feet. The only reason I came back up here is because uh, I couldn't get really back there, it was too far to go back when I was getting cut off. So, you know, it's a lot easier for me to just climb that little bit of cliff on my box. So, yeah, cast that way. Camera's gone over again, fellas, for about the 94th time today. I don't think it's going to help much today, to be fair. Watch Danny cast. Don't throw yourself off the cliff. Spread your legs a bit more. Spread your legs wider a bit more, so you, you've got more balance. You want to be casting about 10 o'clock. As hard as you can. It's in the water, don't worry. Ah. It's in the water, fellas, that's the main thing. I said you're in the water, don't worry, you won't get that massively long because it's a that drum thump accelerator. It's not built for casting, it's built for power. Pulling fishing and stuff. Especially rock fishing and stuff like that, so. Look at that size of them coming in, fellas. I'll just put the camera down a bit though so you get the perspective. And they're absolutely massive. Walk down there, right? Yeah, it will be on the cliff. It's alright when he's down there on the beach, isn't it? With a flip rock in the uh, wind. But I mean, if we'd have stayed any longer, you'd guarantee the rogue wave would have wiped us out, wouldn't it? Because there's some big rogue waves coming in. Just every now and again, you get a big rogue wave coming in and it just gets you. And you don't want to be uh, stuck right at the back of the cliff when you get one of them because the backwash just sucks you in. Last time I fished in seas like this, it was uh, Olber on the cliffs. I don't know what vessel that is over there, Danny. You look in distance over there, Paul, is it? Is it? I don't know what type of vessel that is, but in the distance over there. I don't think I can zoom in on this. I don't know where you do it, but... Uh, oh, there's a good vessel over there. I don't know what it is, a good bright orange one. You know, good luck to anybody that's fishing this today and hoping to get a few fish. I mean, I'm sure somebody will get a crafty cod here in there, but uh, <laughs> I think conditions are just a bit too rough. You look like you had a bite there, Danny. I know, that's what I thought. But surely you can't have one that close then, unless you've got a bass. It did look like a bite yeah, though. Yeah, we've still got legs here because the wind. Well. It's not holding very long, is it, before it gets washed to the right? There's no weed though, fellas, no weed whatsoever.
I'm just not confident I'm going to get a fish. I mean, it's probably going to be a blank today, but uh, it's a, a, festive, out, isn't it? a festive blank. But yeah, we've had a day out. We brave the conditions. Um, a lot of people watered them, uh, and you can understand why, because uh, it's not nice fishing in gale force winds. <laughs> You're nearly getting blown off the cliff and I aren't even joking either. <laughs> Danny's struggling to stand, it must be 50 plus now. You watch when you get gusts, he's struggling to stand up. <laughs> it's, it's very rough. I don't let go of the camera because it's getting bounced everywhere. Danny's just put the strap back on that before they blow away into the sea. Yeah, you've got to keep hold of the camera, so that'll be off his set. It's got very strong now. I don't know how far the tide's going to come in, but if it hits these cliffs, it's going to cause a bit of damage with these coming in. Let's we'll see what time it is. See that one? We've only got a couple of hours left, guys. Two hours maybe at the most. I can lean forward and stay up. <laughs> it's unreal, isn't it? The power of the wind. Is that Andy for his first cast? Oh, I might be his first cast on that rod, he's put two out, I think. I mean. yeah. I was going to fish with two, but it's, uh, I don't think we'd be able to well, handle it. We've got two out, we? Technically, we have, yeah, I'm only fishing with one rod, fellas, because. Uh, it's just not holding long enough. Even chance, and it'd be yeah. a very busy afternoon if I had to keep pulling in every five seconds, five or six minutes. So, in one fact, rod's best, I think. Yeah, you've actually given me a fair chance. I know sometimes fish with one rod, it just depends what the conditions are like. I don't like fishing with one rod, but, you know, sometimes you've got to, haven't you? I'm just yeah, hoping that's... one of us gets a white in to save the blank. It looked like I had a bite though, didn't it? Yeah, I thought you did, but you just don't know because of the wind. It's, uh, it's doing strange things to your rod tip, isn't it? I mean, usually when you get a bite on that uh, accelerator, it really is a bite because it's that stiff that it takes a good bite to give it a good bite, on it? Is Andy stuck over there? Just watching my brother pull in, fellas, over there. I don't know if you can see him in the distance. Um, he's over there in the distance. Now, he looks like he might have a big bloody fish. Whether he has or not, because there's no weed and he's got a right good bend on that rod. It's very deceiving, though. You think you've got a bite in your That's it, seems to be going through black love really quick. So I'm banging two on each other. Right, it's moving at some speed, that vessel, isn't it? There now. That vessel is now there, I mean, it's moving at some hell of a pace. It's right over there. I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's something to do with them uh, wind farms or not. First time I've seen it. Why am I doing that? Right, I'm going take a little break for now. Uh, I'm going to lay the camera back on the floor and uh, I'll be back shortly to see the action. Right, we're back, fellas. Danny's just about to uh, cast back in the old uh, water. It's about half an hour from high tide now. Uh, no, I mean, really. It's good. Danny's just lost his gear. I don't know why, he just uh, lost it for some reason. He didn't seem to be snagged, but just uh, gave it. I don't know, he's rolled in the rocks and cut it off the water, don't he? Yeah, uh, sure, man. Look, look, he's just rebuilt it all and he's rebated and he's going to go back out again. I mean, there's still some big massive breakers coming in, but I mean, it's a bit quieter than it was. Um, it is a bit quieter. Look, I see Danny. See Danny get that cast in. Oh, he's got a nice little distance on that. Yes, that'll do him nicely. 
You what? Yeah, it was all right, that. Got a nice little cast, he's well chuffed, look. His little face chuffed. Oh, got that pretty far. I think that's a fair distance, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's better with this casting, if you can cast that, that rod. Give it a little bit of a swing first. Got a little though. accelerator, don't I expect to get it bounced, because it's uh, it's not built for casting, that. I give it a little swing there before I throw it. Yeah. It yeah, it's not built for casting, is that rod? But, uh, it's all good. That one. We'd like to get some fishies fellas, but I don't think we're going to... Straight out as well. I don't think we're going to get any fishies today. I'm not confident anyway, but... Lose, we've, we've had a go, that's the main thing. You know, you can't, you can't win every time. I've just had a straight 12 video catch record going, so... I'm bound to fail at some point. Today's the lucky day. You've seen Danny cast to the windmills over there. Yeah, you've seen Danny, he's just up to one into the wind farm over there, so first time he's ever reached that. I just knocked one out bloody miles. Um, it's actually held dead straight out for a change. I mean, it would be nice to knock into a little uh, cob like The guy next to me just pulled a whiting in. Um, big one as well. It was a, quite a big one as well, he's taking it home. It's the, the table size one, it's pretty big. So... You never know, I might uh, get a sly one. We're both on Pat and Osters anyway. Figured I'd rather have four ups in the water than one each. So, so I've only got one rod out. Yeah, you look at these <laughs> and then you see it, uh, you see it go slack and everything, but it's not a, it's not a bite. I've been watching them all afternoon and they're not bites. Just the uh, the lead rolling with the big waves in between. It's one of them days where you just wouldn't see a bite unless it was something fantastic like. So you know, but, uh, we've got a video going and that's the main thing and it, it might only be half an hour or whatever. I mean it's something to put up in it on Tuesday, so yeah. As I said it's 20 bed today, so just one more, well, two more sleeps, and then it's Christmas. Is that a seal over there? Yeah. Just over there near Andy. Sure, I've just seen a seal come on the water. I swear I did. Uh, is that a seal there? Or is it a plank of bloody wood? I think Andy's got a seal near him. <laughs> he won't be happy. Is it a seal? It isn't it? There, look. Oh, no, that's something in the water. Washing up. What is it? I don't know. It's either a seal or it's some trap, look. I don't know what it could be, you know. Yeah, it looks like a seal, doesn't it, from here? Andy's looking at it anyway. It does look like one, doesn't it? I think it is one, yeah. Yeah, we've got a little seal over there. Sammy the seal. Looking at it. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, Sammy the seal. He won't be happy there. It's right near his bloody land, isn't it? Oh yeah, swam up there now, look. Yeah, Probably gonna come on the beach. Oh yeah, it is it's a seal. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch them, you know, the bloody bite if you go near them. I know there was one on there. Easy was it no not easy. Uh, yeah, it was one at Kilnsey, was it? Oh, it was Easington. Yeah. When there was one on there, one with that night fish, and I heard that noise. And I walked up to it and I put my light on it, it was a big seal, wasn't it? Yeah. It was oh, like, yeah, they bark at you and they chase you. Yeah. <laughs> well, they do, they will bite you. They're, you know, you shouldn't go near them, really. Yeah, you shouldn't go near them, really. You know, that's the way it goes. Yeah. Well, because they, they, they don't walk, you know, they're sort of like, they're sort of like waddle. <laughs> it's waddling up the beach, though. They sort of like jump when they move, they wriggle and jump. Keep, keep an eye on your running case, you get a big 20 pound cod. It's 
quite possible you might get one, you know. <laughs> well, that's not there, them rocks now, anyway. There was rumours of a fifth beetle. Oh, well. There was rumours of a fifth beetle. There's still some nice big swells coming in, fellas. Well, it was a lovely drive down here. There wasn't much traffic on the road, was there, for, yeah, for holidays uh, season like? Got all my shopping done yesterday because I didn't fancy today's because I had a feeling it'd be absolutely rampant. So we did it all with yesterday. I reckon today it'll be bedlam. Andy's got one, a little white in. Okay. Yeah, I think Andy's just pulled a little white in. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's pulled a little white in his Andy. Looking good, fellas. I'm not that bothered about it. Not that bothered about waiting, really, though. I mean, I'll have one if one comes along, but I'm not that uh, fussed about getting one. Right, I'm taking a little break for now, fellas. Just thought I'd uh, put a bit of video up there, and uh, I'll be back shortly if uh, there's any change in the circumstances. I've got a little waiting. <laughs> yeah, at least you've got a fish. That's amazing. We've got a little waiting. There you go. They are waiting there. Eh? Yeah, oh, you got the camera. It's on. Right, there we go, fellas. I didn't know you had the camera. We've got a little waiting. This is waiting, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Got a little waiting just to say we've got a fish. I haven't blanked. Lift up a little bit. I haven't blanked, look, we've got a waiting. <laughs> it's all good. Just go put that back in, Danny, for us while he. Uh... I'm sure you get near the water to get it in. So the big wave comes in. This next one should be big enough. It's going to come right in. This one here, just wait for this big wave. Here it comes. He's in. Christ, I nearly hit the cliff that way. Right, nice. fellas, I'm really chuffed now because I have not bloody blanked. So I'm really happy. No blankage. Uh, just need Danny to get one now. I saw the bite though, it was a good bite, wasn't it? Yeah. The waves have calmed down. Well, it was a bit bloody bigger than what it was like, but it gave me a good tug. So uh, I'm just going to uh, recast out, fellas. Uh, I might leave you on the rods. Oh, you just got a bite there. Okay. Oh, you had one there. It's like they're waiting about because the guy next to me has just had one. My brother's just pulled one in. And now I've just pulled one in. I'm going to put you back on the rods a little bit, but I've got to be careful because the camera's just bloody blowing off all over. I haven't managed to keep the camera up on its feet. In fact, his coat's just vanished, so everything else. Right, I'm going to have to cut you off, fellas, because the camera's blowing over. Well, if we get any more action, I'll be back. Uh, oh, it's still blowing an absolute ooly. Absolute ooly is blowing. Um, let's get the camera down a little bit. I'll leave you on the rods for a little bit. I mean, you're not getting much action. I've had a fish late, but... You know, it's not an ideal place to come when it's windy, I can assure you. There's no, there's no cover here whatsoever, so you're going to get battered to death, like... You know, it's just open, there's nothing, nothing stopping any wind getting you. So it's uh, it's pretty bad really. Um, I'm trying to get you a bit of footage and, footage and keep you out of the, keep you out of the wind. It's difficult because it, I mean, it's got up the wind, it's even bloody stronger now, it must be 50 plus now. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's got really, really bad now, the wind. It's, uh, you know, you can't win with it really. Camera's been over about 20 times. 
Hey, if I had wings, I'd take off like Jet 2. It's, I ain't got much time to go anyway. Tell you, it was only a short session, you know. I was always going to bail out around 3 o'clock time. It's now, what you call, it's now 20 to 3, so I'm going to pull this one in and maybe have a last cast in a minute. It's, uh, where's the lemonade gone? Has it gone over there? Yeah, it's gone the jacket. It's really difficult to even hold stuff down now that it's getting blown all over. Boxes are going over everything. It's uh, my jacket's shining. I thought it was well. going to slacken off a bit later on at night. It seems to not pretty wet. But we're out anyway, we've got a nice drive home. It'll be warm driving home anyway. <laughs> that is a thing, isn't it? I can't even make a sink Danny's trying to roll a sig, but it's impossible because he's, uh, he's lost three ounces of backer. I've just lost a pack of filters. He's lost a full pack of filters, that disappeared, it, it, it's gone to all spent. <laughs> half of the backer's come out, so I've got a prison roll. He's got a prison roll now because half of his backer's come out, so he's smoking matchsticks. I can't even roll it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, it's terrible, isn't it? There's not a lot you can do about it, it's pretty awful. Man. Oh, that's the back in the pouch, that's what that. <laughs> No, you might be able to get a gist of it. If you look over there, watch the waves coming in. Look. Watch, watch the spray going backwards off the waves as they come in. Have you seen them? Look at that, that's how strong the wind is. It's horrendous, absolutely horrendous, the wind. Not only it's bad further up the coast, but here it's there, it's pretty open. As I say, it's all open, so you've got nothing blocking the wind out whatsoever, as you can see. It's just open fields, so, you know, it's bound to be bad. It's uh, there's no there's no shelter from it. Put it that way. It was a bit masked when I was on the beach, but since I come up here, that bait I've just got. Where's the jar down the touch now? I can't even leave the camera on when I'm rolling in or anything because it's just blowing up. So I'm gonna go for it, guys, and pull this rod in. Uh, Cause I think I've got a bite on it, and uh, if I haven't, I'm gonna recast it. Probably be the last cast. Uh, it'll be getting dark in about half an hour or so well, anyway. If I'll one in, I'll turn it back on. And, uh, you know, if I do get one, Danny said he'll turn it on, so I'll be back in a minute. Right, right fellas, I'm, uh, we're packed up, rods have gone, look. The tide's going out quite a bit now. Uh, we've had fish, that's the main thing. Brother's had a couple of white in, the guy next to me, he's had, uh, he's had a cod and a couple of white in. Uh, so there has a cod come out. Our kids just caught another one down the beach there, look. Boy, it's wrapping up time for me because I was never going to stay late because uh, obviously it's not nice for all last Christmas they've been leaving, leaving running around like so all the best for everybody for Christmas and the new year it's been great coming out again I'll be back out about the 27th, 28th we're going to do a stint at Withensy somewhere until then all the best from me Jimmy Codbites and Danny the flatty man it's a very good afternoon I'm Tunstall